and once again at rockfreakinsolid.com. Today we're going to be putting together the rest of the 19-piece chromatic drum set. The drum tubes from PVC. Last time we discussed how we were going to hold the tubes to keep them from, you know, as opposed to stringing them on a string and having them wiggle all over the place. We were going to have them pretty much stabilized in things like this couple of uh, pieces of plywood with holes in them and screws around the tube to hold them there. See? Okay, now let's get down to building the rest. First, we need pieces like this. It's pretty much the same wood we, I was using for the uh, electric guitar project. Okay. Just take a couple of planks and have them notched like this so that they'll fit thusly. And these will be the feet. Okay. Now, besides that, we have... Oh, we also have the notches here for the uprights to stand in. The uprights... We'll have the notches here to fit in the feet and the good old corn dog sticks. These will fit right into the holes that are in the uh, tube rests or whatever you like to call them. See? So you'll have two like that sitting in the stand. Let's see what it looks like put together, okay? Okay, so first we have the two pieces put together right here, see? And that will be the footing. Next, we put the uprights right in the notches just like this and then we have the stands for them with the little corn dog sticks in there now we put the thing right on the tube rest right on the corn dog sticks like this and then we have it pretty much already set up Finally, we take the tubes and put them right in place, right there like that. Remember, there's the screws right there, holding them in place. And now, we need something to hit these with. Oh, here we go. Get a little foam padding on some big cooking chopsticks. And I put a little foam hand grip on there. I got two of them right here. Let's see what this sounds like, huh? And away we go! I am not a talented percussionist. I'm not even an untalented percussionist. I just like to make stuff that makes noise. Um, now, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you put together the uh, project this week. Now, um, as usual, there's a, a bit more information in the text of today's blog post. There is a link to today's blog post in the video description. Please click it and come on by. Um, such information includes um, a little bit more on the physics of this, a uh, little overview. Uh, remember, this past Monday we went over the mathematical formula to find out the note's wavelength in inches or centimeters so that we know how long to make our tubes for whichever notes we want. Also, um, you, to use that math, you'll also need to know the note's frequency numbers. There is a frequency reference page on the um, blog and there's a link to that page in today's post. 
finally, I've been um, putting in different posts uh, a link to a certain program. I'm just going to put it in the one of the sidebars of the blog. It's the free downloadable chromatic tuning program soft, software program. It's uh, quite excellent, quite the cool. Uh, use it. You can uh, professionally, perfectly, precisely, chromatically tune any instruments you desire to build. You just play them in front of your computer and it'll show you exactly how close or how exact to the notes that you're looking for your instrument is on. Alright, so there's that. And let's see, next week we'll do um, blah, 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 uh, xylophones. And after that we'll do the acoustic electric bass. Okay? Alrighty. Um, thanks for coming by. Uh, come visit the blog. Leave some comments. Ask some questions. Let's uh, share some knowledge, alright? See you next week.